Hello, welcome to my video. Today I will be showing you how I make uh, most of my money in this game. Um, I'm going to show you two main ways that I make my money. One is from scavs, and the other is from budget lighthouse runs. It's a short little run, pretty easy to do. Um, pretty easy to follow. Uh, I'm going to have timestamps in the description for each one. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So now I'm doing my uh, scav run. Oh damn! Um, I normally scav interchange because really good money potential, everything like that. I'm gonna make a bit of money off them. So I like starting off by going over this way. Uh, I like going to the back of Goshan. There's a bunch of shelves there with high value loot spawns, stuff like that. All of these shelves have uh, loot spawns on them. Like uh, crevasses, owls, dry fuel. Dry fuel sells for like 40k, unfully. Um, crevasses and owls both quick sell for like 20k. Really good, 20k per slot is hella good. Once you get more used to the runs, you'll know like what to pick up, what not to pick up, because you'll know like how much stuff is worth per slot, stuff like that. Try to avoid all like uh, gunshots and stuff because trying to do no risk. Let's check all of these shelves. Owl quick stuff like 20k. Handrail. Handrails don't really sell for much, but if it's like the only thing you can pick up, then maybe. Or if you have like a pilgrim, maybe grab it, but wouldn't recommend because they don't really sell for much. I think they're like 40k pick up, six slots, not really worth it. <laughs> In three handrails. There's an ammo box over here. I always like uh, wouldn't those because good ammo potential. Sometimes you get some good ammo from it. Might as well since you're like on the route anyways. Over to Ollie. This is where the bulk of my stuff comes from most of the time for my money runs. So a lot of shelves to loot. Always check this. There's a bunch of spawns on here. Like WD-40, stuff like that. There's two PC rooms if you want to loot them. I think there's three PCs in this one, then like three in that one. We also like loose loot on the desks and stuff with the computers. Always check these shelves. I found like lots of keck tape, stuff like that on them. Tube quick stuff for, like oh, no, that's not too this helix. <laughs> Don't know how much helix is quick stuff for. I like going this way, and then if you do a jump then free look, you can see if stuff spawns on these. Stuff spawns on all three of these shelves sometimes. All of these basically all of these shelves have spawns on them. If you wanna go for more risky, I normally do. Um, you can come up this way, check out all these shelves as well. Potential for like e motors and stuff, those sell between like 30 60k for e motors. Depending on time and the day. Is that a body? That's a body. A looted scav, I think. Oh, tube. Tube quick sell, 11k. 
I always try to aim for like 10k per slot. I'm trying to go big. I normally just grab everything and then if I find something better, I'll try to drop stuff. Make a little bit more. Once you start doing these more and more, you'll learn what's good, what's not. I'm gonna get a headshot here, aren't I? Uh, that's us for a bit. There's all of these shelves, these toolboxes. Let's check these shelves. These shelves have like water filter spawns. I see those generally sell for around like 65k on fully. Just really nice for a two slot item. Just like all of these shelves. There's a duffel over here that I like to loot. Over here, there's two PCs and loose loot right there. Two PCs, a duffel, and big weapon box. Scared, scared the shit out of me. And then normally after I loot all this, I will go over to the uh, the tech stores, loot those. I hate how like high the sight is on this. <laughs> Makes me feel like I can't see anything. That's scary as hell. Um, assuming there's scavs, because I heard scav talking over here. Here are the tech stores. There's one here, one up here. I don't think that sells for very much. I'm gonna check all these shelves. Bunch of uh, text bonds on them. All the shelves down there. Also check. So you generally check all shelves of the text stores. Some people miss things, like PCB right there. Then there's this tech store right over here. I find a lot of like Tetrises over here. Which does quick stuff for like 75k. Really good. You basically check all these shelves. And then the extract that I normally do is I normally go to to a railway. Because there's a bunch of stashes you can loot on the way. I'm going to loot about like three stashes over there. I'll show you right now. Show you how to get there and stuff.
tip for new players is you don't need to uh, jump over these railings. You can just do like a circle motion like that, and you will like while you're sprinting, so like this. And I'll just phase through them. You don't need to like jump over them, over them or anything. Oh, he's AI. Okay, so you just keep going this way. You're gonna see a fence over there. Go through the hole in the fence. Right straight ahead is our first stash that we're gonna hit. I think there's a total of five stashes over here. Uh, I can barely ever find the two other ones. There's only like four minutes left in this raid, so I'm not gonna not gonna try to find them. I'll just show you these three ones that I know of. One right here. They're coming out. And if you just go like straight this way, past these trees, there's one. I think it's not that one, it's this one, there's one right by. And the last one that I know of is right over here. And then just go straight this way and just like follow the railroad and you'll hit the extract. When you're a scab, you always have Emercom and Railway, so you can always take this route if uh, you want to. This is a route that I generally always take for my money runs. Almost there. Right here's the extract. Pretty good raid. Got a bunch of stuff. 40k, 40k. Labs card, which spawned with me. Can't really count that for the total. But that's the run. It's like 14 ish minutes. 12.42. That's the uh, scab run. Here's the kit for the uh, budget. White House games I like to do. I like to bring a double barrel and some Magnum Buck because Magnum does a lot of damage. You can put it in double shot and one tap just about anything. I like to bring uh, USEC 1, USEC 2, Marin, and House Key. USEC 1 will run you about 40k. I, I generally find it for around 35k. USEC 2 is way higher than it normally is. It's like 11 right now. Prices are fluctuated. Um, it was 40k earlier. Marin, um, same thing, fluctuates a lot. I saw them for 30k earlier, they're going for 62 now. And then Hillside House, really good key. Damn, um, those were 60k earlier, now they're 127. You just gotta find good times of the day to buy them around. When you see them cheap, buy them, stuff like that. So, let's get into the raid. Oh, of course that gets that. So this is where the run will normally start, up at the chalets. Sometimes you'll get um, another spawn or just follow this one backwards. All right, I'll come in here first. Safe there, safe there. Med bag, loose loot everywhere here. I've seen bitcoins, vertexes, GP coins in this. Loose spawns up here. Over here in the garage, there's some one right here, I've seen vertexes, aces, stuff like that. Mules, stuff, these two. Over here there's loot, there's loose uh, tech supply stuff. This one, there's also stuff in here. 
Let's tech supply stuff here as well. Let's tech stuff here as well. Um, now we come this way. There's always there's a uh, another like vertex Bitcoin spawn here. This chair, this chair. Um, all of this table. That chair. Let me come up this way. This this also has wood spawns. I've seen Intel spawn here. Loose spawns here, here. On all these boxes. There's a weapon crate here if you want to loot it. And if you come down this way. Weapon crate, weapon crate. These seats have Intel spawns on them. These shelves have spawns on them. Seem like iridium, stuff like that spawn there. This bed sometimes has spawns on it. I don't generally check it because they're kind of rare. Come down this way. Come around to the pool. There's a spawn on this body sometimes. It can be like anywhere on this body, so I'll just check it. And then we come this way. Do this bush. There's spawns in this little box, like here. And then I like going this way, go to the other chalet. There's also uh, loose spawns here as well. We're checking this garage because I've seen like armor repair kits, tech supply stuff spawns in here. Tech supply stuff, toolbox. I've seen armor repair kits spawn on this table. Let me go this way. We got uh, this has loose spawns in it as well. Um, this table has like uh, moonshine spawns seen GP coins and like rollers spawn back here before. Come up this way. Here's where two of the keys will come in handy. USAC 1 and USAC 2. There's two safes here that you need to unlock with them. Badge. And this one. Uh, they can have two spawns. So always check like down here as well. This way. Bitcoin spawn. Let's see. I'm gonna like come in this way. There's spawns over here. There's like food spawns and stuff. In this chair, there's a spawn. There's a bunch of food spawns all on these tables. I don't like to go this way. If I don't hear like gunshots or anything, I'll generally go this way. Up and around over to Marin. Marin's right over here. Didn't get anything this time, but I've seen Bitcoins, Aces, SGs, SJ6s, Mules, all things like that spawn in there. This way, back across the road.
Right over here, this building has good spawns in it. It has a few duffel bags, a few jackets. I think that's three jackets, three duffel bags. A high value loot spawn. I've seen GPUs, Aces, Vertexes in it. Let's come this way. Right in this box. I've also seen spawns on this bed. Come around this way. There's a duffel right there. Duffel right here. And if we go upstairs, two jackets there. Duffel here. I've seen the loose Bitcoin spawn here as well. Bed has loose loot spawns. There's a med bag and a toolbox here. You know, we're gonna come up this way. Hillside house is right over here. That's where this key will come in handy. First, I like to loot the shed. That's a toolbox right here. Toolbox right here. Uh, loose loot spawns all around here. Another toolbox. Want to loose loot, like tech stuff. I've seen dry fuel, stuff like that. Then we come around to Hillside House. That's where this key will come in handy. Jacket right here. Couch has spawns. This has spawns. There's spawns like everywhere. I just check them. Just check like everywhere. Another Bitcoin. Or VPX. There's a duffel here. I'll loot this one. Here has spawns this chair, this uh, cabinet, the sink. And I like to come around here with this red house. This also has some high value wood spawns in it. Gotten multiple GPUs from here. We're gonna have to go around the back. All the other doors don't open. Coming through here. This shelf has spawns on it. I've seen GP coins. That's about it. Let me come up here. In here is our high value loot spawn. Another VPX. Stuff spawns here, all around here. The bed has stuff on it. And if we come around here, this chair has stuff. This shelf has stuff. Uh, this desk has stuff. This shelf has stuff. That's about it for this house. And then... If you're still not satisfied with the stuff you have, or you want to get more stuff, like you have a bigger backpack, it's not full, you can come through here. There's a few things in here. A duffel. Loose loot there. See any loose loot all around here. Loose loot all around here. Mainly like food stuff spawns there. Tech supply, food stuff, a jacket, more food. And then we come around this way. Another jacket. Loose loot. Loose loot. Loose loot. There's uh, loose loot spawns on this as well. Another toolbox over here, another one right there. I see loose ammo spawns here and food all the time. And then right over here is the extract. So we come around this way. Just basically follow this way. And that is it for the little loot run we did. Not bad. Uh, 200, 300, about 500k there, I'd say. Not bad. It's like a 10 minute run. That's about it. If you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to say thank you for watching. That's all I have. If you're not subscribed, already subscribe. Leave a like on the video. All that jazz, you know. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.